Hello, everyone. <clears throat> and welcome back to GTA 5. This time, we're beating the game. Now, even though we are doing the ending of the game, we're not done with the game, per se. So don't, don't worry too much about that. However, I'll, 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 there's a thing I need to explain in a minute. But let's let's get this cutscene played out first. Hey, slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey. You got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolyte. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. No. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns then. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A... Listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye. Man, fuck. Okay. We must make a choice now. Option A. We follow what the federal, what the feds say, and we kill Trevor. Option B. We do what Devin Weston requests. And kill Michael. Or option C. Where we save both of them. Now. I I don't. I'm not going to go back and show. I'm not going to show all the endings. So I didn't bother to do this beforehand. But if you want to see the other endings. Save before you do this. Seriously. I think a lot of the NPCs are fucking assholes. <laughs> and most of them die should we pick option C. Let's fucking do this. I Franklin, am excited. Go. Man, we need to talk. Let's fucking do this. I need help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, uh, all right, I'm coming. Let's let's fucking do this. I'm taking the bike as always because bike is cool. Okay. Once you have picked your option, you are locked into that ending. I am very excited to do this. I, for absolute sure, <laughs> I got so much closer to the end of the game than I remembered. Okay, like, I got maybe the last heist plus, like, four missions before that away from beating the game in Chaos, which is wild to me. I will absolutely do videos on chaos at some point, but it's for another day. 
And that'll be very much not LP style content. It'll just be some random one-offs if I if I need a video to fill a slot during a week. Man, I this is wild to me. I will say if depending on the ending you want, there are a variety of factors that go into considering each. For me, I want to be able to show absolutely everything. And since we have not done all, like, the especially, like, Strangers and Freaks missions for those two, we kind of need them alive. <laughs> so, because post-game is a thing, we're going with this ending. Also, it's just the optimal ending, in my opinion. We're going to be here for a while, though. This is, like, a series of long missions, so... I don't know exactly how long this is going to take, but this is all going to be one video. So, I, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if this is like a two-hour video. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it is what it is. But yeah, if you want to go with one of the other endings, make sure you've done all their stuff before picking your ending. Seriously. Okay, we're here. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. You know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got, so why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fuck, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man. You know the um. Oh, that angry that, um, rich fucker from whatever holy hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say, kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You know, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay, but I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. Fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Come on. Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better idea. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. Let's, I got you. Right. Let's fucking do this. <clears throat> to hi, Lamar. What's up? What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dog. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. All right. We're bringing Lamar into this, too. Fuck yeah. This is going to take so long. Uh, but it's going to be so fucking worth it, though. I, I am goddamn giddy right now. Let's fucking do this. Oh man. I <laughs> this this feels weird. Like I have not beaten this game the entire time I've owned it. And I've been playing this game on and off for like three <laughs> for like three years. Hop on, bud. We, uh, heading to the foundry place. 
I like how we're just not telling him. I imagine we will. Hey, look, on the way there. Out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boys, man. Well, we trying to save him. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Lamar. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homie? Everyone. <laughs> These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Oh, please, nigga. Lamar. <laughs> Lamar, <laughs> hold up. This town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He was lining up, camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Okay. We here. Look, man. Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. I maybe should have stopped at ammunition. <clears throat> it's fine. Alright, where the f fuck are they? There they are. How do I get up there? Let's fucking do this. I am stoked as hell. Near the building. Watch your stecker. Chief, all you gotta wait. Let's do this. I can't see shit. This one's mine. Another Merriweather team coming in right next to me. Where? Oh, you shouldn't have come here.
Oh, we got. All right, let's go help Lamar. We got. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Hold on, homie. I'm gonna try to get to you. Let me down. <laughs> Hang on, but fuck, go. Keep your head down, they all coming. Hey, these punks causing trouble. There you go. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some company. Get out, fool. See? So what's the difference between this and our links in the hood? The difference is several tons of gold, homie. <laughs> you probably don't know about the gold. <laughs> Why ain't you inside with the rest of them? That is easier said than done when I only have this. Oh no, I, I, I have other things. I have other things. Come on. Can you stop being an asshole, please? Oh jeez, there's more. Fuck. There you are, you dick! What was the problem? I took a knock. I was sitting out a few rounds. It's good to know you care. Yeah, well, don't do it again. Go oh, look out, more agents! Oh, shit. I am lower on health than I would like to be. What the fuck is going on out here? They're throwing everything they got at us. If we can take this, they'll have nothing left. This is quite a bit. Going up, I feel like going up here is maybe not the wisest decision. I'm closing them out. But it's, um, it is a decision. Oh, Jesus, Trevor. coming in Ah, oh, Christ okay wow oh my god how far back is that gonna set me probably to the go outside I'm in the shit, man. this is a shit show Keep your head! Oh, 
Our shooting is only 40? What the fuck? Christ, okay. Oh god. I don't know where the fuck I'm being shot from. Fuck are they? Oh Jesus! We're looking okay. Let's regroup with the main set of doors. Come on, go. It's probably going to be more fighting. How are you? <laughs> Take a drink. So, huh? uh, what's up? Uh, what's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again? Huh? Fight me, and anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be reeducated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> what the hell, yo? Let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the mark? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Oh, man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're going to have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You have um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin Fell, Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. And when I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. Let's do this. Get rid of Mr. Chang. Fine by me. Five and... Mm, <laughs> that's so far. Ah, crap. We made our plans. Let's stick to them. It's fine. Let's do this shit. All right. I am a little surprised I only went down once in that entire firefight. Seriously, that was fucking intense. Let's go deal with this motherfucker.
Gotta not die on my way there. Thankfully, I think it filled up my health. I imagine I do one and it'll make me switch. Hey, Lamar. That was above and beyond, homie. Ain't nothing above and beyond when it comes to the homies, homie. <laughs> A nigga just wanna be helpful, you heard me? I'm serious, dawg. That's hood. Mike on Trevor, too. We grateful. You a real homie, and I love you, dawg. You too, homie. You done with this bullshit now? Almost. A couple loose ends. Aw, oh, shit. I know that voice. You creeping on some fools, huh? All right, nigga, we'll handle your candle. Lay low, my nigga. We're almost there. Almost. Whew. This is gonna be a thing. This video might genuinely be like a good chunk over an hour. And you know what? If it is, then it is. I, I want the entire ending to be one thing. So... This is, this is just going to have to be a thing. Not much else I can do about it. Alright. We're almost there. Let's deal with this motherfucker. Hey, the old man's here. He's leaving the beast club. I'm gonna do it now. Come on, give, give me the fucking micro. That was him. Oh my god. Uh oh. Get the fucking driver. Oh yeah, they're they're coming back. They're angry. Bring down Haynes. My fucking pleasure. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A city of saints. A city of sinners. And nothing in between but the FIB. Cut! Ugh, this is crap! Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, alright. You got this frame right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. Alright, the audio's clean? Nice. Uh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. Alright, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Of scumbags. All right. The fuck is wrong with you? And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent, and you've got a unique look of what's really going on. Uh, him? That him? Cliche. What? Yeah, that's him. Come on, a little lower. 
Oh, he's fucking up, going up again. God damn it. Woo, fucked it up. <sighs> and thought that was him. It's hard to tell. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely a better fucking spot. It's American melting pot. I want to make sure I get a, ni a nice fucking headshot on this dick. Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Alright, we gotta go. Gotta go. Get out of the way. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. Do you? <laughs> Doesn't look like it to me. They are hot on my heels. It's only two stars, so it shouldn't be too hard to lose. Let's just be smart. Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll go up there and get him. go deal with stretch and then I imagine we'll all I imagine we'll all go deal with dickwad Stretch dead. Let's go. Lose the cops. I doubt this would work, but I'm gonna try to go there anyway. Oh, shit. The fact that there's a helicopter could make this um, challenging, to put it mildly. Shit. Sun jump failed. That's okay. You can see shit. Hank. What the fuck? I'm clear. Your pal, Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So who we got, man? I'm picking up Devin Weston so he can have some uh, fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. Let's do this shit.
Considering... I... Hmm. This has taken less time than I thought. So himself with Meriwether Guards. Hey, unless you got news from the Foundry team, I don't want to be disturbed. We need to kidnap him. Die, god damn. How much is asshole paying you? I hope it was worth it. Bend over here and come. I'm the definition of SP. I'm the most suspicious person you'll meet. Show's over, clown. You start Humans, but I know you're reptile. Are you all right? Grab that guy. Come sit. I'm a walk in combat situation, assholes. We're receiving fire. You mess with the road. I'm here for you. Booked it. What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Get out. Hey, wait, hear me out. Ugh. No more talking. Hey, <laughs> get in the trunk. And yeah, we definitely took like a shotgun to the heart, but it's fine. Hmm, the truck may be a little bit in the way. Six kilometers. Ugh. It's fine. Go to the rendezvous point. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Are we gonna take him up Chiliad to kill him? <laughs> I'm okay with this. Okay. Still definitely taking long, considering we're at almost 40 minutes, but... You know, I really expected this to be longer, and maybe it still will be. You don't get to know. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. Bang all you want. It's not gonna help. You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Debo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes, yes, that's 
That's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a stick. I'll give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. He may have met his end <laughs> just then. Prepare for the end, my friend. My friends won't be happy if I empty a clip into the trunk. <laughs> Are we being shot at? I think the answer is a uh, maybe. For some one on one time, that's longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> He's still in the trunk. Good. All right. There's Michael. I imagine Franklin's hey, not far behind. Tea? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman <laughs> like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? No, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I would ain't you going want? nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Please, we're yes. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> there it is. Hell yeah. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives as friends. Do I have a choice? <laughs> no, no. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. 
But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? <laughs> Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. And that's GTA Five. We're not quite done yet. But, that's for next time. For now, enjoy the credits, and I'll see you guys then.